charge flows together through the external circuit at a rate that is the same everywhere. The current is not greater at one location as it is at another location. The actual amount of current varies inversely with the amount of overall resistance. There is a clear relationship between the resistance of the individual resistors and the overall resistance of the collection of resistors. The presence of two 10 ohm resistors in series would be equivalent to having one 20 ohm resistor in the circuit. The presence of three 10 ohm resistors in series would be equivalent to having one 30 ohm resistor in a circuit. And the presence of four 10 ohm resistors in series would be equivalent to having one 40 ohm resistor in the circuit. This is the concept of equivalent resistors. The equivalent resistance of a circuit is the amount of resistance that a single resistor would need in order to equal the overall effect of the collection of resistors that are present in the circuit. For series circuit, it is the summation of all of the resistors connected. R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on. The current in a series circuit is same everywhere. Charge does not pile up and begin to accumulate at any given location such that the current at one location is more than current at other locations. Charge does not become used up by resistors such that there is less of it at one location compared to another. The charges can be thought of as marching together through the wires of an electrical circuit. Everywhere marching at the same rate. Current, the rate at which the charge flows is everywhere the same. It is the same at the first resistor as it is at the last resistor. As it is in the battery. I equivalent is equal to I1 is equal to I2 is equal to so on. These current values are easily calculated if the battery voltage is known and the individual resistance values are known. Using the individual resistor values and the equation, the equivalent resistance can be calculated. And using Ohm's law, delta V is equal to I into R, the current in the battery and thus through every resistor can be determined by finding the ratio of the battery voltage and the equivalent resistance. A 20 volt cell will establish an electric potential difference across the external circuit of 20 volts. This is to say that the electric potential at the positive terminal is 20 volts greater than at the negative terminal. As charges move through the external circuit, it encounters a loss of 20 volts of electric potential. This loss in electric potential is referred to as a voltage drop. It occurs as the electrical energy of the charge is transformed to other forms of energy thermal, light, mechanical, etc. within the resistors or loads. If an electric circuit powered by a 20 volt cell is equipped with more than one resistor, then the cumulative loss of electric potential is 20 volts. There is a voltage drop for each resistor, but the sum of these voltage drops is 20 volts. That is the same as the voltage rating of the power supply. This concept can be expressed mathematically by delta V is equal to delta V1 plus delta V2. Refer to the diagrams as well for this. Since the current is everywhere the same within a series circuit, the I value of delta V is equal to I into R is the same in each of the resistors of the series circuit. So the voltage drop that is delta V will vary with varying resistance. Wherever the resistance is greatest, the voltage drop will also be greatest about that resistor. The Ohm's law equation can be used to not only predict that resistor in a series circuit will have the greatest voltage drop, it can also be used to calculate the actual voltage drop values.